today we are going to repot some jade. So I am going to be putting them all into this pot here and I am going to be packing them in pretty tight. Jade are just so easy to propagate that anytime I take cuttings I just end up sticking them in dirt and now I have like a ton of pots of jade and I just don't need this many pots of jade. So I am going to put them all into here and just kind of let them thicken up a little bit and decide what to do with them later on. Now this guy has been in this pot for several years, probably uh, three years or more. So we're gonna start with this guy. Let's see what happens here. I just wanna start by, oh yeah, oh. Loosen it up in the pot here, see what's really going on. Very dry. Nice. So I have a lot of perlite in here, as you can tell, so it makes the soil really nice and free draining. Now I had a couple other small starts in here. I think I might have lost some of them. So we'll get rid of that guy, and we will move on to the next pot here. That was really easy. So just start by loosening it up. Like I said, I, I put a ton of perlite in here, so it makes it really well uh, loose draining, easy to work with. Put these little guys over here. These, I am not even going to try to separate these. These are kind of one clump, so those are staying together. That's it for that. This is going fast. This is great. I'm going to be done with this in no time. Now this one, no, it actually might have been that other one that got knocked off a windowsill. Now this one doesn't have as much perlite and you can see it didn't uh, break up as much so it wasn't quite as loose in the pot. So let's see what happens. Some really nice specimens here. So no, like, you know, Jade isn't really known for having a really kind of vigorous, robust root system, but it does root extremely easily. Get rid of that, gonna move on to the last pot here. This one also doesn't have quite as much of perlite as the first couple. But it did come out quite easily. All right, so got one there. There is a lot of jade here. Another one here. Another single one there. And here we have another another clump. So I'm not going to separate these. I I like them as a clump. They're buddies, so they are going to stay together. Let's put these clumps together here. All right. Wow. Okay. So as you can see, here is the big guy, and he's obviously not a huge plant, but uh, as far as jades go, but he's only a 
few years old. I'm gonna break off some of this excess potting soil here. Well, these are nice and dry. I'm gonna leave them that way. Here's number two. I'm just gonna break off some of this extra potting soil. Just crumbles away. We have a this is pretty nice like this. Uh, this is one that had more of the just potting soil rather than you can see these did develop more roots in just the potting soil than like for example this is obviously a smaller one but so the one with a lot of perlite didn't develop a lot of roots but I suspect the reason for that was uh, you know, there it wasn't, uh, yeah, it's hard to say. It might not have been looking for water as much because the potting soil stays wet for longer. Um, it's interesting. I'll have to see. I, I did kind of, I don't really have a regular watering schedule for these either, though. So, you know, it's uh, any anything that I guess would be completely kind of unscientific. Not that anything else I say was is uh, remotely scientific. <laughs> All right, so let's let's line them up here. Um, biggest, I'm gonna say there. That's three, four, five, six. I guess these are. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if you count these clump style ones as one, I have eleven J plants that I'm going to be putting into this pot. So let's see if we can fit them all in there. We're going to be a happy little family here. And in addition to those eleven, I do have these very small ones uh, about this size I didn't count so I got a little bit of gravel here I'm gonna use in the bottom of this pot because there's some pretty big drainage holes in there and I want a ton of dirt coming out of the bottom of this thing so what I've got here for potting soil oops is um, so it's peat moss, so basically potting soil with a ton of perlite added. I also added in some of the sifted uh, turfus and sifted perlite from uh, my bonsai soil. I did. Okay. Let's try, try and get this guy standing up here. That's a fall that way, so just put that in there for now and keep moving. Off. Make some room here. I'm 
what is going on. So now, guys, right across from each other. So I'm the second clump. See, that's how easy these are to propagate. So that's just a leaf that has fallen off. So that's just a leaf that's fallen off there and grown some new plants right off the end of the leaf. So to propagate these, you can just lay a leaf down, you know, right on top and it'll start to grow new plants. finicky. I'm not really doing a great job of spreading the roots out, but it's, it's working out okay. I'm going to try to take this little cup here. And... There you have it, um, 11 little jade plants plus a, you know, 12, 13, 14 and the seedling or tiny cuttings down in there. We'll see how this does. So I've consolidated all of those pots down into this one. So this is going to be a real space saver. Um, so because I just am running out of room for plants here, so I don't want to get crazy with it. So I think this, this little pot here is gonna be great. Now I'm not gonna water it right away because I did cut, there are some, there's at least one fresh cut down in there. Uh, and these will be fine. So I'll probably wait a week or more until I water this. All the leaves are really, really firm. So it's nice and hydrated. They've got a lot of uh, water stored up in there. And uh, I think watering it now would just be asking for root rot. Um, even though this is a really well-drained soil, you know, it's mostly perlite and, and turfus, 
and um, well, with some potting soil mixed in. So basically peat moss. But there you have it. So that is that is the uh, the jade plant. Now let's move on to our next jade plant. <laughs>